Well, good day. Welcome back to Clayton Schick Outdoors. Of course, I'm Clayton Schick and you know it. We're in the outdoors, baby. Pitching jigs right now for hopefully shallow water walleye is the goal right now. I've got, let's see in there, an orange and black one eighth ounce jig that I'm going to hopefully pitch around for some walleye. I've already done some searching with side imaging and once I catch a couple, we'll drive around a little bit and show you some stuff on the side imaging what I was looking for. But I went around and I weighed a couple, weighed, I laid a couple waypoints down here where I was marking fish on side imaging. And now I've kind of gone back to them there and I've dropped down the 360. And what I'm doing is as I'm picking up pods of fish there, right now they're off to the front right of the boat, I'm gonna cast to them. So we'll make a first couple casts here out the back, out the front, out the sides, wherever they show up on a 360 with the old jig and a leech. And we'll see if we can put some walleye in the boat. The old jig and a leech. So good this time of the year, like so good. So good. Oh, I've got some fish off to my back left here. We'll make a pitch out here and then just work it in nice and slow. Oh, there's a fish right there again. And I guess it'll be about 20 feet out. Work it in real slow. Springtime, slow time. Oh, got him. Nice. That did not take long at all. First cast. Oh, 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 it's a rock bass. Are you kidding me? That's crazy. It's a big rock bass too. Holy cow. Well, I'm not looking for walleye, but I will take this. That's a giant rock bass. Wow, I did not expect that. Huge rock bass. Wow. Look at that right there. That's what you call a big rock bass. I'm gonna get a measurement on him. Find out what he went. That was literally the first pitch out too. So maybe what I was marking right here is rock bass. I'm not sure. Quick measurement on here. I love this bump board, it's so handy. Closed mouth, 10 and a half, no, 10 and three quarters. 10 and three quarter inch rock bass. I'm not even gonna show you off to the camera again because I showed you off twice. Toss you back. Okay, well that was exciting. Rock bass, right off the start. I'll take it, I'll take it. Here, I, I was definitely set out for walleye, but hey, if I could clobber a bunch of rock bass like that size, heck yeah. Oh, it's got hammered again right there. Nice. Nice. What do we got this time? This time we got our target species. A little walleye. A little walleye. Can't do much of this thing, that's for sure. But they all count right now. Clobber. Clobbering them. What do you mean clobbering them, Clayton? You've caught two fish. You're not clobbering them yet. Ooh, fish off the left now. I gotta get another leech on, get out there quick. Oh, fish behind. We'll go for the fresh one right there behind the boat first. It's so cool, that 360 in the shallow water. Especially like for this style of fishing, pitching out jigs and stuff like that. I grew up learning, I shouldn't say learning. I grew up fishing this way a lot. So I guess this is like one of the first styles I learned. Definitely one of my favorites for sure, pitching out jigs shoreline rocks points mud lines anything like that it's easily one of my here i go again easily one of my funnest ways to fish it's just something different again but this is kind of this is what i grew up doing and i still love pitching jigs especially with leeches when the bike gets more aggressive I like pitching swim baits i have the best office in the world right now unbelievable okay it's not hot and heavy here Let's uh, drive around with the side imaging a little bit and try to find another pot of fish. Couple here, but not nothing crazy. Couple here, one walleye only. One rock bass, one walleye. So that's two fish. This is fish side imaging right there. You can see the white speck and the shadow, but just one. There would have been a couple more there I'd have stopped or I would have put a waypoint on it, but we're gonna try to find a couple of them before I put a waypoint on them. Oh, there we go. Right here, come on, I'll do one more here yet. Do one more. Do one more. Right there, a couple right here along the edge. 
I like this. I like this. We're going to mark this here. Mark that guy. He looks like a pretty nice one. And then... Oh yeah, another one right there. Look at, you can see the tail of that one even. Okay, we're gonna tell him up here the way the fish are these fish. Mark there, right on the outskirts there of that bay. Oh yeah, there's one, two, three, four fish here. So we're gonna go between my two waypoints here that I made. I like that, I like that a lot. Telling down in between these two waypoints here and then put out the 360. You see on the 360, there's like a weed edge right here. And these fish are just cruising the edge of this weed edge right there. So it's kind of pitching out behind the boat here and hopefully pick off some of those fish that are cruising that weed edge. Oh, right there. Yep, right off that weed edge, right off of that weed edge. Nice, 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 nice. Little guy, little guy. I'll flip him in here real quick. Save my leech even. Beautiful. Just a little guy. Not even big enough to eat. Oh, oh instantly. I got bit. As soon as it hit the bottom. I think my jig's gone. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. He ate it. He actually picked it up and was coming at me. So I didn't miss him. He ate it and was coming at me. I feel like a donkey on that one another little guy see there's a school of fish right there right off the side of the boat just change the head camera battery I think there's a fish on my jig <laughs> that's funny sometimes just letting it sit out there is the answer it's really 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 soft bite in spring right now right like they're just finishing their spawn they're a little more docile a little more volatile as jay would say and just a really really subtle presentation jig and a leech is always a good way to do it for sure slip bobber right now would probably hammer him something slow soft on the bottom Oh, bunch of look at that pot of fish back left right here just let that jig sometimes just sit right there on the bottom definitely works like i said i was just changing the head camera battery came back noticed my line was a little bit taut reeled up and a boom there's still fish back left i'd be surprised if i oh i missed them i was gonna say i'd be surprised if i didn't get bit right there like those fish were right there Front right, or front left, I should say. I like a rod with a pile of sensitivity for this. Something that you, when you're dragging that jig across the bottom, you feel every little tick, every little fish that picks it up, anything like that. A lot of sensitivity. I'm just using a one eighth ounce jig, so I want something that's just got the, the slightest little tick, I can feel it. And this rod, like I said in some other videos right now, so new for me this year, Battletech Walleye Rod from Savage Gear. This is a 6.3 and it is a uh, four to eight pound it recommends medium light power fast action it is an awesome little jig rod very impressed the sensitivity is mind-blowing i'm gonna have a pile of fun with it this year i can just feel everything as soon as my leech isn't on the jig feel it like right away it's a light rod easy to use it's gonna be great for vertical jigging and it's gonna be a great for just like pitching out jigs like this too. This one feels a little bit better. This one feels a little bit better. I'm gonna to have to net this one. Yeah, this one's a little better. Easy girl, easy. I should have had my net a bit closer to me. Finally one I have to net. Oh, or try to net. Nice one, Clayton. Nice one, Clayton. Well, I'm gonna keep some fish today. So this is probably a good one to take home. We'll give him a quick measure and make sure. It's actually a little bit too big to keep. I have a slot limit where I am here right now. I can't keep anything that's over 18 inches and he's 18 and a half. So he's going back. 
dun, dun, dun. Oh geez, as soon as I cast it out again, right away, they're thick out there. They are thick, right along that weed edge, loaded, loaded. Smaller for the most part right now, but not bad at all. Little guys. Stacked, just stacked, just stacked in here. And to go along with like a light rod, I, f I like fishing with braid myself or something like this. Just got that extra sensitivity. I'm using a 10 pound braid made by Suffix called 131 G Core. And then I have an eight pound fluorocarbon leader, again, Suffix. Uh, I believe it's called Suffix Advanced Fluorocarbon. To go along with that, with that sensitivity, that rod, a good, a good line to feel everything is definitely a key as well. This one might be a netter here. Oh yeah, gotta net this guy. Gotta net this guy. Again, I should probably have my, oh, that's a nice one, that's a nice one. There we go. Deadly, 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 deadly. Definitely on him right now. Oh, jig came out, perfect. I can just grab him right here. Show him, oh, easy, show him off quick. Give him a quick measure. If he's under 18, he'll go in the live well. If not, he's going back. You know, 18 and three quarters. So you, my friend, are going back. Lots of fish here, lots loaded. And definitely key right now is just, just letting it sit out there, hardly moving it. Very, very subtle presentation. Letting it sit and then I'll go like pop, pop, pop. Let it sit for another four or five seconds. Just kind of tighten it up, make sure that I can feel everything. Pop it along again. Let it sit. I'm not bringing it in too quick. Too quick, you're just gonna pull it out of where they are. Right now too, they're, they're cruising these, these, these weed lines pretty heavy. They'll, they'll come to you. You don't always have to go to them. They'll come to you too. Sometimes they'll pick it up too and you'll hardly, hardly even feel it because they're picking it up and they're swimming at you. But found them with the side imaging, laid some waypoints. Put the 360 down, fish the, the weed line and slamming them. This one's wrapped around in his gill. So what we'll do here is we'll probably take a look and we might retie. If you get your line wrapped in their gill plate like that, make sure you take a look at your line because it can put the slightest little nick in there and a big fish will break you off. That one's, uh, we'll see if he's, now nah, we're gonna throw him back. I'd like to keep about a couple 16, 17 inches. He's probably 15 and a half type of thing. And like I said, check our line. Oh, <laughs> nice, nice. This one feels a little bit better. This one feels better. Definitely feels a little bit better. Swimming right, swimming right at me. Staying down too. This one feels better. I don't think giant, definitely not giant, but definitely a bit better. Shallow water wall are so much fun. They're so scrappy. I haven't seen it yet. Definitely is a little bit nicer. Come on, easy, easy, easy. I should have my net right behind me to grab easy, light line. Don't fight them too, too aggressive. A little bit nicer fish. A little bit nicer. Nice, 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 nice. There we go. Yes, that's a good one. That's a good one right there. Definitely the biggest of the day. Shallow water spring walleyes. Crushing jigs. Crushing the jigs. Shallow water walleye, baby. Nice, nice fish. Golden. Hammered that jig. Okay, got her out. Show it off one more time. Definitely too big to keep. Probably that 22 inch or something like that. We'll send her back. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. I'm gonna do a little retie. I got maybe a couple of frays there, one fray right there. I'm gonna retie. And then uh, the only thing I really haven't talked about yet is the jigs that I'm using. So I'll talk about the jigs real quick and uh, yeah, maybe pop a few more. So these are the jigs I'm using here. Rattlin Google Eye made by Kalins, one eighth ounce. I've got them all in here. Somebody was asking me, not somebody, a piles of questions of what kind of uh, jig box this is. This is a groove box. 
not sponsored anything like that this box was given to me by a friend but it seems to be pretty good for that you are going to see a pile of these jigs this year i guarantee it i love these things they're a good little jig i'm going to give two packages of these away i'm going to give a package of black and orange and a package of gold one eighth ounce plus a cso deco comment below in this video of your pb walleye tell me your personal best walleye if you haven't if you've never caught a walleye just tell me some kind of pb fish that you have whether it's pike musky crappie anything like that and we'll pick a winner out of the comments and you'll win a pair of uh, a set of jigs and a cso decal and also when this video is released we will have the winner of the walleye rod it's right here congratulations get a hold of me versus uh, instagram or facebook or youtube comment below uh, in this video, anything like that, let's touch base. You have won the walleye rod from Savage Gear. We'll get, we'll, we'll touch base and we'll get you that rod. You can pick out a walleye rod of your choice. I haven't picked the winner yet. I, when I go home, when I edit this video, I'll go through the comments, put in a random generator and we'll pick it. So congratulations for the rod. Another giveaway for the jigs. We're gonna do lots of giveaways this year for sure. So go enter below. Oh, more fish right here. That says fun. Catching fish is fun. Hopefully I still have audio. Hopefully I still have audio. Yeah, we're good. Nothing's worse than uh, recording video or something like that and then checking a the camera or audio and being like, oh, it's not working. It's not working. I'm loving this whole 360. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie merch, coming soon. Nice, 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 nice. Where are you, buddy? Where are you? Where are you? Just a little guy this time. Just a little guy this time. Oh, easy, easy, easy. Oh, the gold jig works too. Oh, he's just vibrating. Let go, let go. Sorry, buddy, you can't have that leech. You can't have that leech. Let's pop up the talon and move a little bit in here shallower and see what else is around here yet. I, I could probably stay here and catch a hundred fish, but I just like seeing new things. I like looking around. See that time I casted a little bit too far and look, I got weeds on there. I cast it right into that weed line. You wanna be just, obviously you can cast into the weeds, but if it comes through with a bunch of weeds and they're really picky, they might not eat. So I slid in a little bit too close here maybe. So I'll just try a shorter cast here this time and see what happens. But I probably slid up a little bit too close to this weed line now. You can see here, I got a little bit of weeds. Looks like right in there. This continues out in here. But there's gonna be fish, there's fish right there, right off this edge of the boat. Only like probably about 15 feet out. Yep, right there. Just like I said, like 15 feet off the boat. 360 picked it up. It's nothing to it. I just need to shorten my cast a little bit. This fish is a netter. So I think on that note, we're going to go try one more spot yet. Hook him out in the net nice and easy. You're going to give him a quick measure, see if he is a keeper size or not. Love this bump board. Oh, we got a keeper. 17 inches. Our first fish in the live well for the day. Oh, we got to put some water in there, I guess. Hey, little buddy. Oh, look at that. All those fish right there. Just off the front left of the boat, about 20 feet out. Okay, let's go try one more spot. Like I said, this bracket, I like, I don't think I mentioned before where it comes from. This is, this bracket's from Fishing Solutions. Make good brackets for Live Scope, the Mega Live that comes out. And the reason why I changed to this now instead of the bracket that comes with it, which works great, I just find when it's really, really rough out that I want this down here and not hanging out. So this I can put in and out quick, super handy. These mounts can take off uh, pretty, pretty quick. So when you get into docks and stuff like that, you don't want to hammer this thing into the dock. Very happy with uh, the final product of this thing for sure. This is ultra, ultra quick. What I'm going to do too is I'm going to put a, a line here so i know exactly where to match it up right now i have a screw that's right here and i know if i put that screw in the middle that i'm pretty much ready to be but i'll take like a a line and i'll just go across here knowing that that's going to be forward all the time so i like this 
bracket a lot. Fishing Solutions, the link will be below. They hooked me up with uh, a couple brackets and I'm gonna get some more brackets from them once Mega Live comes out too, so pretty awesome. Mega 360 is disabled, it's out of water. We are aware of that, so we'll go to side imaging now. Got our map and down imaging, we'll pull up the talon and we'll go to the next spot. There's a bunch of fish here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's lay a waypoint out there where that is. I think that's probably where we're gonna go back to. Lay a waypoint, I'll put a mark there where those fish were on the side imaging. And I you know I can go sit right there, talon down, and likely crush some fish. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Nice, I was way up there. I was way up there. Feels a little bit better. Oh yeah, this fish feels better. Nice, nice. This one's got a little bit of weight to him for sure. Oh yeah, this one's better. This one's better. Nice. Oh, come on, baby. Stay buttoned. Stay buttoned. I got my net right here. Stay buttoned. Just oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. come on. Easy girl. Oh, I just love this. Walleyes, shallow water. Absolutely love it. One of my favorite. Let's get my net ready here. Fish isn't quite ready yet. A little bit of boat waves going on. Nice. Saw it on the 360. Cast it up there. This is where I marked those wave, the waypoint right there and just came up and sat on top of it here. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Oh, yes. Almost messed up the net jaw, but we got her. Heck yeah, that's a good one. Not giant, but definitely nice. Definitely nice. Oh, yes. Get the jig out quick and show it off. Yeah, baby. Nice golden Walter. So we'll get a measurement on, I'm guessing 24-ish, something like that. Beautiful fish. 23 and a quarter. 23 and a quarter. So it's a little bit off, but beautiful. Beautiful shallow water walleye right there, baby. Amazing. Amazing. Been out here for like, I don't know, two hours, not even. Did a little bit of searching with the side imaging. Side imaging is such a cool tool. It's not something you have to go out and get, but if you can afford it and you wanna play with cool technology, it's amazing. The 360 is just that step above two. Those two together are such a wicked combination. Unbelievable. I've caught bigger walleye, obviously, but I just love this style of fishing. Just like so finessey. I've got big ugly hands. Clayton is not super finessey. Not like those panfish guys that are like experts. I'm just good enough. Yep, got him. Front left, so I'm on a 360 again, cast it out, nailed him. It's almost not fair. It's almost not fair. Well, on that note, we will wrap up this video. I can guarantee you that I'll be doing more jig fishing in the future. I love this style of fishing. He's vibrating. So don't forget Comment below with your PB walleye or PB of any fish for that matter and you'll be entered to win some jigs. One eighth ounce gold package and a one eighth ounce black and orange package and a CSO decal. So thank you as always for watching and don't forget, get outside.